Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Chasing a thread with a tap can be easy or hard, depending on how you look at it. Big thing is you want to get started straight. And you never want to use a crescent wrench. But when you don't have the proper handle, sometimes you have to improvise. Since I'm at home, I only have 5 8 11 taps. I don't have a 5 8 11 die to chase this thread. I tried using the nut, but I think I'm going to screw up the nut doing it. So I really don't want to do that. So let me come back to the threading file. And it happens to have a spot on it that's 11 threads per inch. So I'm going to put it back in the chuck, spin it by hand, and file these threads down. See if I can keep them consent. I'm definitely taking off material, but I think it's mostly galvanized. going on there much easier. Not quite a hand fit, but close enough. That'll actually be to my benefit to have a little snug.
Now to put a bunch of holes. It's just a gasket cutter. perfect in the center because before it's done this thing will make itself round all I have to be is close eyeballs more than good enough Tent, when I'm all through, is to have this one centered on this one. So that the point of this one is right square in the middle of that one. And the same all the way around. I think that's going to get me the closest to the kind of surface that I want to end up with. And who knows, it might work. Probably in the grand scheme of things, not going to make a whole lot of difference. But I'm not out anything for trying it. Look at that, I got all these little buttons of abrasive material. <laughs> what am I going to do with those? Probably with any sense I'd throw them out. They really haven't got much value. But then, whoever said I had sense? <laughs> 